Okay, so you got an one mm set up, and somehow by some miracle it's all working. It took me quite a while to get this just set up. And you want to go contest, but you also want to stream. So like this picture you see right here, this kind of looks like what a streamer, like a like a contest streamer, would put up as a uh, you know on a, on the screen. Like th this would be sent straight to Twitch, and it'd be cool. But there's an, a there's a very 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 important rule, and I'm gonna use the um, QSO party. Let me pull up the browser really quick. <clears throat> So there's a Hamvention QSO party, and this, this is for like basically every contest. And if you read the rules, only single operator candidates, you may use assistance such as the cluster and reverse beacon network. If you go back to N1MM, that looks like that's what this is, the, um, the Telnet uh, cluster window, which populates the, um, if I can get N1MM to put all the windows back, which populates this side of the screen on the far left you see here. Uh, so you can like click on a station and jump to that person's frequency so you can work them um, really quickly. And hopefully the radio also jumped, yeah, to 14245. Um, and also when you move the VFO, that, that little reticule kind of moves with it, right? Um, but that's the telnet, that's the cluster, that's what um, basically uh, is assistance. Um, because you're getting assisted to um, find other stations. And using no assistance means you turn the telnet off and you rely on just spinning the dial to find uh, stations. So, but then it also says no self-spotting. Now, traditionally, what this means, so spotting is basically you if you scroll by and you listen to a station you, and you work, say, well, W5YZ, um, let me just send them a bogus number, 50. Uh, I can click spot it. And I'm not going to do that because it's going to send the spot over the network. Um, but when I do that, it's going to send the spot to the Telnet cluster. And so everyone connected to the Telnet cluster will get notified. Well, notified is kind of a, a broad term, but it will show up on the Telnet cluster at this frequency. Um, now you can see how you can cheat with this. If I said, for example, I put my own call sign in there and I click spot it, then I've spotted myself. That's self-spotting, um, if you catch my drift. If, if you, if, hopefully I explained the spotting kind of system um, such, such that self-spotting makes sense, right? It's when you spot yourself on the DX cluster. So this is giving you an unfair advantage um, because normally you have to rely on other people to spot you. So when you throw streaming into the mix, this adds kind of a complication, uh, if you will. Um, so if you see on screen, I have, I guess there was, oh, that's supposed to be right here. Um, I have uh, everywhere, I have my frequency. So when you're streaming, you have to be cognizant that you're not giving away your, your basically your, your frequency because that technically is spotting like you are telling people through some means that you're on this frequency so if i started calling cq on 14257 right now and like maybe 50 100 people are watching my stream they would know immediately like oh, i can just go to 14257 and find you and so you you have an unfair advantage against your other competitors now there's a lot of controversy with this um with with the whole video streaming of contests because maybe even if you you know block out all of these um characters and such uh, or all of these frequencies, you're still inviting like extra attention that your fellow contester doesn't have, but like that hasn't been figured out yet. So for now, it's the Wild West, right? And let everyone debate while um, you know we figure out what's you know what's we while well, we basically make new rules for this kind of thing. Um, my cable's all torn up. So to avoid self-spotting and to make it easier on yourself, right? To um, uh, not have to worry about the naysayers or actually basically not have to worry about disqualifying yourself from the contest uh, is to block out all of your um, frequencies that show up. And it might be harder, it's harder than it sounds. So first of all, one thing I haven't shown is um, OBS is this software that I used to stream and it's gonna do this kind of cool thing. But here you can see, actually let me do, no, I can't do. Uh, but here you can see like what I see on, on the streaming system. Um, I wish I could like pause this, but it'll make me, yeah, anyway. So I have, uh, it's set up to capture my right desktop. Uh, it has my, this webcam, the webcam down on the radio. 
Um, it, this is for this is my streaming thing. It's just a chat window. It catches my microphone as well as the display. So it's showing my right display on my two monitor window, which is all of this stuff. So I pull it back in. Um, the way that you can create um, uh, basically boxes, how to like block this is by using a color source. And I'll just call this sensor. I think this will work. Click OK. And then I'll select, you can select any color. And you make it really small. Let me kind of move things around. And then effectively, I'm censoring that frequency there. And I'm going to have to kind of finagle because it looks like it's set by this. Maybe I can use Control or Alt to change the um, dimensions. No. Oh, yeah, here we go. So we put that there. And I'm using the Alt plus drag to create a sensor over that frequency in the radio. Yeah, so this should work, right? Now I'm still giving my frequency away in many, many spots. Um, let me show you. Put that back over there and just uh, basically we're gonna copy this command and do it over and over and over again. So I've obscured the frequency of the radio, but I'm, you can still see at the very bottom, um, if I take my pin here, I still have my frequency on this spectrum display, like 14.2, 14.3, and that center point is where I am. So then you have to block that too. Or uh, perhaps you can go into the settings and change such that this looks like an audio. Uh, this this um, basically shows the audio frequency from zero to like three kilohertz. And I think that's in the settings somewhere. But you might not have a 7300, so it might be different for you. We'll just say it is for the sake of brevity. Um, otherwise, I would have to block that by copying. Let me open up, get back to OBS. You can copy and then paste, uh, duplicate. And then I can use that and move, move it down to this one. And I'm using the Alt key again to block that. So I've got that one covered. Now I'm gonna move OBS back and that's only two of many. So other places NWM shows your frequency. So the band map is, is pretty much a dead giveaway even if you block out the frequency. So let me like block these out too by copying some more. We'll put it over here. Gotta use the Alt key again to make it size. We'll put that there. I'll copy it again. There's one in this window up at the top. I'll block that. I'll copy it again. And basically I have to cover up this whole uh, whole side of the screen. I just blocked out the entire thing, but that's just the way it's working for me. Uh, <laughs> it is kind of kludgy to, uh, to do this because it wants to force the aspect ratio to stay unless you use the uh, alt key. Now you can say what band you're in. I don't think that's a problem. Uh, it might be though, so don't quote me on that. So I'll just block that out. Honestly, you could block out the whole band map because arguably if somebody sees uh, FH4ZZ, um, they could just go onto DX uh, Summit, um, which would be like um, here. Or they could look you up, right? Um, because somebody is inevitably gonna spot you if you're CQing and you're having a run, but if they aren't and you're having struggles, they can spot somebody, they can look for somebody spotted right next to you, like uh, F4, what was it called again? Um, I gotta find the band chart. Oh yeah, OK2RZ OK is right next to me, OK2RZ. OK and I can see that he is at 14256 which is pretty much right where I'm at, 14257, and then you can kind of tune around and find me. Um, <clears throat> so arguably, you might want to block out the entire uh, uh, map, minimize that, the entire band map, but I won't do that for now. A couple of the things you want to block out is the frequency, so I'm going to paste again. Let me copy, paste again. This frequency chart in the window 
is has got to go in the log window has got to go because when you work stations it's going to show what frequency you've worked them on oh uh, what else uh let's see am i missing anything else probably um but i think that might be it for now um and that's basically how you do it how you obscure your frequency um, reports on screen so you can still stream without self-spotting now this is up for this is still up for debate. Like it, it's a huge controversy in some of the seat, like some of the, I would call it the uh, the, the reflectors, the email lists and whatnot. Um, so your mileage may vary. Um, it's up to the contest runners to disqualify you or not. So if this is adequate, then that's great. But if they say, oh, you're streaming and that's inviting you extra uh, attention that's going to get you more points, then they might disqualify you. So there's always the option of submitting a check log. I'm kind of working on steering the community, if you will, such that they, we can do uh, streaming and contest competitively at the same time, just like an eSport. Um, but it's pretty hard. Um, I would say one option would be to submit a check log and everyone who submits a check log uh, can go to a separate site and be, be scored with people who streamed as well, separate from the regular contesters. But that's kind of annoying and it kind of kind of hurts my contest contesting passion for not being scored with my other compadres who are also contesting but you know for for the time being that might be a solution but right now there's no one um saying nobody uh putting contests together that are saying you may not you shall not stream okay so hopefully that helps basically to recap use obs um, it's a it's a big you know pain in the butt to set up, um, but so I won't go into that. There's many many videos on how to set up OBS, but use um, image uh, color sources to block out frequencies on the screen, and it's really like hard to picture it on here because obviously like um, I can't show you what M1MM looks like and stream it on OB or record on OBS at the same time, uh, but take my word for it. Actually, I'll use my phone and uh, grab a picture here. So kind of an outside view. Here's kind of what it looks like. Again, I have all of these blocks, these black blocks here, 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 here. And you can move these around. You can change the size of them, but notice how when I change it, it, it maintains the aspect ratio. So if you use the Alt key and then drag, I wonder if I can do this with a camera, and then drag, you can see now it's kind of like, making more sense um, and then I've got one covering this screen I've got it covering the band uh, you can see down at the bottom it's giving away the, the band that you're on the frequency that you're on you can cover up the band you can cover up anything in there so that's basically the gist of it so thanks for watching I uh, hope this helped and see you on the contest